Today we are going to discuss a small topic which is called apical patency. What is apical patency? Apical patency is um, actually defined by the American Association of Endodontists as a preparation technique where the apical portion of the root canal system is maintained free of debris by recapitulation with a small uh, flexible file extending slightly beyond the foramen. And Buchanan has uh, defined patency file as a small flexible K file which is extended 0.5 to 1 mm beyond the apical constriction without altering the width or without altering the morphology of the apical constriction. There has been a lot of controversy regarding where should we terminate the root canal obturation or root canal preparation. So one of the most popular one is by Wien. Wien has, uh, uh, Wien has uh, told, like, if there is no periapical bone resorption or uh, root resorption, we can terminate the obturation at uh, one mm short of the apex. And if there is a bone resorption which is not accompanied by a root resorption, we can obturate 1.5 mm from the apical uh, from the apex. And if the tooth is having a bone resorption accompanied by a root resorption, then we should stop the obturation about 2 mm from the apical foramen. What are the advantages of uh, patency filing? So patency filing has a lot of advantages. Like the main advantage of patency filing, it establishes and it maintains the glide path. Since it removes the debris in the apical extent, it can have an unobstructed entrance from the coronal orifice to the, apic to the apical end of the root canal system. Another advantage of uh, the patency filing is it enables us to understand uh, the anatomy and the root curvature uh, through the tactile sensation we receive while performing the patency file with a small flexible K file. The most commonly used files in this is A6 number or number 8 K files for patency filing. Another advantage of uh, patency filing is the it improves the efficiency of irrigating solutions. How? Because the in the apical end, which is having a lot of secondary canals, accessory canals and all, so in this area, uh, the accumulation of debris can uh, prevent the accessibility of the irrigating solutions into these canals. So, so if you are doing patency filing and removing the apical debris on that area, it increases the chance of the irrigating solutions getting into this area and effectively removing the debris from that area. So another advantage is it, it enhances or it improves the ability of us to determine the working length with the help of an apex locator since we are removing the debris that are accumulated or um, uh, accumulated in the apical end of the root so that the file can uh, reach the apical end and this can lead to appropriate working length determination with an apex locator and uh, according to Buchan, he has advised, he has suggested to do apical patency filing prior to each irrigation. Okay, another thing, another advantage of uh, patency filing is like in small scalcifications or um, small denticles if they are present in the uh, apical end or apical third of the root canal system, it can uh, it can remove a small denticles or it can remove a small calcification in the apical end of the root canal systems. Another uh, advantage of patency filing is in an infected tooth there is a lot of caseous exudates in that um, apical end of the root, uh, end of the root, which which uh, creates great pressure on the nerve endings. So if the patency filing is done, it can or it may relieve a little pressure which can result, which may result in less post-operative pain. That's all for today. Have a nice day.